Elected leaders who represent Uvalde, one Democrat, one Republican, are expressing anger with the Texas Department of Public Safety. They say details about the response are being cherry-picked to protect the DPS. Fox 4 Stephen Dial continuing our coverage. Stephen. The head of the Department of Public Safety here in Texas is continuing to point out failures made by local law enforcement. But today, a state senator is suing that same department, saying they're blocking his office and the media from being able to see body camera video. Every week since the deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, new unsettling details emerge. Tuesday, the Texas DPS director, Steve McCraw, testified before a special Senate committee revealing how the classroom door was unlocked while local law officers reportedly waited more than an hour for a key. Uvalde Mayor Don McLaughlin said at a Tuesday city council meeting, the city is being left in the dark. Oh, I've contacted them every day. I don't get a damn thing out of them. Called the governor's office too. I don't get any information. I actually wonder who the hell is in charge of this investigation. Wednesday, San Antonio State Senator Roland Gutierrez filed a lawsuit against DPS. His district includes the city of Uvalde. He appeared on Fox News Wednesday to talk about how the media and his office are being blocked from reviewing body camera video. And we're getting half truce innuendo and and snippets of body cam footage that he chooses to give, while at the same time, he sells the attorney general, he seeks an exception from all of the media open records requests, suggesting that his body cameras on his officers should not be disclosed because we'll learn some kind of secrets or trade secrets of, of, of their weaknesses in their operations. Gutierrez says it's not just local law officers who were in the hallway. DPS now acknowledging there were more than a dozen troopers with local officers minutes after the shooting started. Also, officers had more firepower and protection than originally reported. I don't want to sit here and, and lay blame on anybody. They all failed. They all they failed. All failed. That's exactly right. We need to find out why so that it never happens again. McLaughlin says he has also requested the body camera video from all responding agencies. In his words, the gloves are off, and he says he's tired of holding his tongue. While the House and Senate continue their investigation in different ways, McLaughlin says he will continue to push for answers to a report to the people in the community that lost so much. At least the House had the, 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 the audacity to keep it in a closed-door session, and we had the Bozo the Clown show at the Senate today with, with the, you know, McGraw and everybody praying out there and giving answers that they still don't have the facts to. Now, in that same city council meeting, the mayor of Uvalde said that uh, he, his office will release video when they eventually receive it, but he said his office will not release any video that shows any children.